Did you have a nice time over Christmas and New Year, Anna? Yes, I had a great time. I can tell. Your side of the van's really heavy. Oh, you cheeky thing. That is really naughty to say. Considering I have some extra baggage. Yes. Now, we've been to Brickell Marsh here this morning and we got some tile adhesive, which is in the cabin next to Anna, and some uh, gravel just to finish off the last of the pour of the concrete. So this is my side. Yeah. How fancy. Oh. You're too kind with me. You spoil me, Ed. Now we've got the haters on board watching for the very precious first few seconds of the vlog. Roll today's vlog. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog everyone. We are off to the shops quickly just to have a little look at some up lights and then we're going to get on with finishing off the layout for the lights and uh, pouring the concrete. We'll eventually get on to uh, the layout of the actual um, sets as well so yeah should be an interesting vlog. What's the verdict? We went around the houses there, didn't we? we so we went on to posts, modern posts, old looking posts that weren't, weren't very well made. And then we went to look back at the spots again, didn't we? Yes, we did. I was thinking, God, it's dead annoying that they don't fit because that's what we want. And then we looked at the display and there was one that was out of the display, wasn't there? Yes. And it, it just had a hole there and they just put it in the hole and away away they went for the display and I thought oh well I said to you didn't I, I said oh it's a shame that uh, it's a shame we can't just have a hole and put them in and then I said I thought well, why can't we just have a hole and put them in like that so that's what we're going to do we're going to um, I think a soil pipe will be the exact diameter of what we need so we're going to cut loads of little bits of soil pipe put those in the place of where we want the lights and then uh, uh, once the concrete's set and, and everything, we're just going to uh, pop the lights in, aren't we? Yes. That way, all of that problem with the, um, the excess cable and all that, well, it's not going to be inside the little box. It's going to be underneath in the ground. And we've got those little connectors that are waterproof anyway. So the cable, aren't, you won't get any water coming in where the cable is. So it, it all works perfectly like that. And that means I have the lights in the ground like I wanted. Yep.
Good morning, Ed. Morning, Anna. We're just waiting for the rain to dry up a bit. It rained quite heavily this morning, didn't it? Yes, it did. And whilst we're doing that, I thought I'd show you the layout of these uh, sets that we're going to do. Well, layout I thought of, and I think you'd probably like it. Let me get a bit more done, and then I can explain what we've got to do. Sounds good. So, I'm not going to do the whole lot, but you can see we're going to put little stones around the outside first, yeah? That's going to give us a nice shape. And then my idea was, let me get a set square. Right in the centre here, I have to measure it. At 90 degrees to the building, take the first stone and we're going to put them on the diagonal. What do you think about that, Anna? It's going to look really nice if you did that way. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So. Don't worry about the puddle that's there because that's going to go when we uh, we level it up a little bit with the uh, tile adhesive. Unfortunately, we had to have a little bit of a slope from that path to the front of the building, but it's only a little bit of a little area of concrete. Yeah. Yeah. So there's not a lot of water going to come through there. Um, and so then it's quite easy. You just kind of keep keep your uh, spaces and away you go hard because I can't do any cuts to show you properly what it'll look like but well I think it gives everyone including myself a good idea of what it will be like it will be a few extra cuts but I think it'll be worth it yes I think this is going to make the whole difference it's really nice on the path though you'll notice if you Go back a little bit. You'll notice I kind of carried on the border around here. I'm going to obviously carry it round there and round there because I think that the path will actually look better as holes. I was going to say we just follow it all through like a carpet mm -hmm. so you wouldn't have these in the middle here and you just carry on diagonally. It'd be a lot of cuts and a lot of wastage and I'm just a little bit worried because we haven't got many of the stones left so I thought we just carry that board around and then just keep them square all the way along the path. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right, no, no rest for the wicked. Let's get on with the pouring of the concrete, hey? Yes. We had an executive board meeting. <laughs> and Go I've on. been told by my uh, CEO. Yes. <laughs> what that, did the CEO uh, say? That I, I shouldn't be lazy. I shouldn't be worried about not having enough stones. And actually, we're going to have to do it the way I wanted to do it, but I was a bit worried, like I say, about having stones, which is, this will not work now, but you'll get the idea, to carry the pattern on like a carpet. Mm -hmm. Because my CEO said she, uh, she preferred it like that. <laughs> so we're going to open it up. Mm -hmm. and so be it if it delays us by finishing off for a month or so if we run out if we don't run out great because it's got quite thick uh, joints so it might actually end up being less wastage and more joints and less stone well we don't know 
Well, let's hope so. So, let me just do a little jiggery pokery here. And so, yeah. It's going to be a bit like that. Yeah. So but that means that we need to get a string. Yeah. From here. And follow the line. Right the way to the center of the path down there. Yeah. Some people might have noticed that there are holes in the concrete that look particularly uh, cylindrical. That's because we came up with a solution, didn't we? We talked about it in the car. We did. Um, but I, I didn't show you. No, and you found the solution because... Yeah, so the lights that you like, the little spot-up lights, they mm -hmm. were perfect size for us to put some soil pipe in the concrete, set it in, and then struggle like... Don't say. Yeah, to get them out. We've got some of them out, but we've not got all of them out yet. And we need them out because otherwise it's not the right uh, oh. size hole for the, um, for the lights. So yeah, this is what our solution to the lights. So now I have enough cable to do my electrics. There's enough play to twirl it around when I'm, when I'm done and it'll go right back down underneath the lights. It won't push against me when I'm doing my electrics. And then afterwards, we just literally, I think probably silicon the tops in, and that'll yes. do it. And you said, because I was worried, uh, you said, because I said, why don't we put it on the side, grass area, but yeah. you said that you've put a uh, cable trunking? No, 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 I've put a uh, conduit. Thank you. So if there's a problem with one of these cables, we just pull it, uh, a new cable through in the conduit. Yeah. So you found the solution? Yeah, I didn't want it in the grass. I think it, it's just asking for trouble eventually. They're going to kind of not stay yeah. flat. And when you cut the grass, you could... I cut the grass? Well, when the grass is being cut. Yeah, well, we might have a solution to that, hey, Anna? We might. So, Anyway, that's that. I need to get on pouring now. Enough chatting. Take two. Enough chatting, get pouring. Right, and I'm going to get a uh, tape measure on this, find the centre, mark it off on the stone, we can always clean it off after, and that's going to determine where I uh, place the first of these uh, sets. 97 and a half, no, 198. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's my centre mark there, and so when I come to put these down, I'm going to start with the centre of the block lined up with the centre mm -hmm. of the stone there, and then it's going to be two cuts on either side, so it looks, it looks better like that. Okay, you know best, I don't... 
I don't know much about it, but as long as it's right in the middle like you're doing it, it should be perfect. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Okay. I'm going to have it slightly offset from the stone. I think this is the furthest point out, so we might be able to set it pretty much under there. That looks good there. It'll, it'll fit out everywhere else, that's not a problem. It fits further in there, but we can't fit it further in because it'll look odd, so it has to be in a straight line, which is why I've got the um, higher, the kind of level. So that's my centre line there. Right, let's get some coal and get going. Well, I am more than proud of you, Ed. You have your knee pads. Yes. Oh, Taking care of those knees. Yes. So I've got the row along the front in. They're all level with each other, maybe not with the front, but with each other they're level uh, because the stones along the front are a little bit wavy, different heights and things like that. And now I've got to get these stones along the edge, but I've got to get them looking right. Now we have a ho overhang here of three centimeters because I didn't want to cut the stone. Um, I thought it looked better uncut. And so each of these I want to finish on this corner at three centimetres overhang. So that way it should follow the arc that we've made with, uh, with wood. So it should, in essence, be good. Well, let's hope so, but it's looking good so far. Yeah, I mean, these seem like pretty... What I've got to do is try and get this, this practically the same spot uh, every time so that the, the width you know, it's the same everywhere, so. I've forgotten something, Anna. What is it? I've had my lunch and I forgot my knee pads. Oh. So I've gone quite well on that side, but I'm going to stop there because what matters most are these corners here on this job as well. So it's got all these little things that keep making it really hard, but it's really important that they're right. So along here, I'm just going to line up my tile with the edge of the concrete rather than having an overhang. It's really important they don't have a cut. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get these two along here 
and try and kind of set them as they should be and then I get this in the right place all the time making sure that I'm level with back there it's not an easy job this one no it looks pretty tricky but if it's done right it'll make all the difference and the sun is out for you uh huh I'm kind of happy with that and I think anything else like the cuts and jiggery pokery can be done behind the light so basically all I've got to do now is connect that angle with that angle which isn't particularly easy but we'll give it a go Thank you. 